The Canada Revenue Agency now says hackers were able to steal 900 Canadian social insurance numbers because of the Heartbleed bug. But what it didn't tell those hundreds of Canadians is that the CRA knew about the theft on Friday. It shut down its tax e-file system last Wednesday, calling it a precaution. As Margot McDermott tells us, critics say the agency got a heads up but clearly didn't act quickly enough. Margot? Diana, last week the government says it was doing everything to protect its tax filing website against a nasty computer bug. It wasn't enough. You can forgive Justin Bull for saying, I told you so. He's the guy who called the Canada Revenue Agency last Tuesday to warn its computers could be hacked because of the software bug called Heartbleed. Turns out he was right. Today, the CRA announced 900 social insurance numbers were stolen. This is exactly the sort of thing uh, I and most security professionals were concerned about, that uh, the ease uh, of this bug allows anyone to really kind of reach into the grab bag and pull anything at random. The CRA says it was targeted in a six-hour attack by hackers who used the computer bug to get into its system. That seems to be the six hours that's in play here. Somebody was watching the news, heard about the vulnerability and decided to go ahead and exploit it before it got patched. But CBC News has learned the CRA knew about the thefts on Friday and didn't tell Canadians until today, two days later. The CRA won't explain the delay, saying in a statement, at the request of the RCMP to preserve the integrity of the investigation, CRA is unable to provide additional information on this matter for security reasons. A social insurance number can help thieves create a fake identity or open a bank account or credit card. The opposition says Canadians should have been told immediately. Right now, each and every Canadian who has filed his or her tax return doesn't know if they are one of the 900. I think they should have been transparent with Canadians from the start. Security experts are wondering how far the breach goes. I haven't seen enough information to this point that convinces me as a a person in the industry that they have uh, done the due diligence that they could say it's only 900 and not 9,000. Diana, the Canada Revenue Agency is now sending out registered letters to everyone whose social insurance number was stolen. Now, they're not going to give them a new one, but they're providing a 1-800 number and credit protection services for free. So, Marco, what about other government agencies, though? Well, the government's not giving out details, but it says that all federal departments and agencies have updated and tested their software that might have been vulnerable because of this bug, and all its sites are back up and running. Diana? Thanks, Margot. Margot McDermott in Ottawa.